ask my wife to wash my car, and I get this video sent to me at work. Somebody's okay. Okay, maybe not so much now. Oh man. Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Am Benzo. Modern feminists who have improved that they need men the hard way. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Let's get that child. It's child time. She has been scrubbing her whole car. <laughs> a brand new forerunner. Oh. With this brush. Why? <laughs> yeah. I am tired of this movement that we don't need men. Who's coming to fix your toilet? Who's coming to fix the electrical at your You are a dude who is in the trades. I see you, I love you, and I appreciate you. And I want you to know that there is women out in the world that do stand and fight for you. I am one of them. <laughs> we'll see. The only reason why she's speaking up because she's affected. Correct. And she doesn't want that to continue. But otherwise, she might even be one of them. Or at some point, she said that she don't need the money. I'm True. just saying it. Yeah. All right, I'm about to get gas. All right, baby. All right, I'm about to pump it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm going to fill up, I guess. Yeah, that's why we're here, right? Yeah, to get, get gas. gas? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure nobody's around. I ain't seeing nobody. Well, I hope not. Me too, <laughs> but I'm right here. I think you'll be all right. Okay, so if I get it here, she wants him to do it. And if in him is read between the lines, it's like, oh, you know what? You're gonna do it. I'm not doing it. I don't know if he's tried or something, but he's about to get in trouble here. You know, it's always funny when men drive the car, we still have to pump gas. And when we don't have to drive the car, we still have to pump gas. <laughs> it's like, either way to women, we are just gas pumpers. <laughs> oh, she's about to go off. She might not even know how to pump herself, to tell the truth. <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna pump my gas? What? I am a female! Oh, heck to the all. You ain't gonna pump my gas. You gonna make me stand out here with all these crazy people, I can get my gas. I just said make sure nobody's around. I don't see nobody. You pump my gas every time! Baby, you can do it. All you, right, cool. You got arms and legs. Cool, cool. Cool what? <laughs> It's just pumping gas. Right? What? You That's how entitled they get for all the little things you do for them and then make it so easy for them. They forget how you made it easy for them. And then once it doesn't happen anymore and it makes their life miserable, miserable, then they get upset. I think he'll be fine. No, that's straight. That's straight. Yeah, I mean, you're fine. I'm gonna use your wallet too. I just used your card. What? Oh, what? You, if you got out and pumped my own gas, I would give you my card. But since not, I'm gonna fill up my tank with your card. Baby, come on. Hit cancel. Hit cancel. I'll pump it. I, I didn't cancel. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I got people looking at me. They're probably I got people at me looking at you. you. Don't want to buy my gas <laughs> or pump what? it. Come on. I get a need, man. Oh, I fucked up. No, the realization. There you go. The sucker. <laughs> I was like, wait, what's going on here? Dude, he has like no room in that. He barely jacked that up. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. That's not good. Okay. Customer states, his motor is knocking, he needs an oil change. Let's see how much oil is in the car. Damn! Damn! That's why the motor is knocking, he gonna need a new motor. <laughs> it's not just is women, guys. the reason guys. why people check their oil, even if they are not changing the oil, they will check the oil to see the level of the oil. I mean, there's a reason they made that, is to prevent that. True. Gentlemen, please 
do not let feminism, social media, tell you or make you think that we don't need you. Trust me, women are craving masculinity. They're craving men. We need you. We just want to come home and go to sleep on your chest. <laughs> we just need to wake up next to you knowing that you're there. We just need to be able to call you when we're having a weird day, bad day. You're the only one we want to call. I'm going to call my man about that. I'm going to call. Let me see what my man says. Let me ask my man. We need you. Do not let feminism make you believe that you are not wanted. It is far from the truth as women are all lying to themselves. True. Trust me. We need you. So you can't give up. You've got to go after your goals and your purpose because we need you to feel good about yourself. And you need to let us in. You need to be vulnerable enough to let us in. Okay, you had me at the first two, and now you put this vulnerability leading us in thing. Come on, ladies. We tell you guys this all the time while we're not soft with you guys. It's because you guys are going to use it against us every single time. Into that little heart there, that, that thing there. We need to get in there. We want to just get in, okay? We want to all get, to get in there. So you need to let us, but do not be fooled, men. We need you. <laughs> the only reason she's making this video is maybe in response to how men have been uh, acting. Some have decided to join the, uh, the soft guy era. Some are going their own way. Some are getting their passports. Some are ignoring more than women and they're looking for traditional women. Some are ignoring women. They don't want to talk to women in public. They would rather maybe date women off apps because they don't want to be labeled as whips. So now this is our responding of, we need you guys. I would have never guessed that a post like this could be controversial in the least. Who would have thunk it? So there are women in the comment section saying, I would have yelled at my man. Uh, why would her man do that? I would never let my man do stuff like this for another woman. Like, why don't they call their boyfriends and just a whole bunch of nonsense. This man clearly is a gentleman who looks like he was raised right. It is midnight. These women are alone. He, he seems like he knows how to change the tire and they probably don't. So he's helping them. You're standing right there. Sis, if you don't trust your man, just say that. It is so weird to me that a woman encourages her man to be mean to other women. Like, you want him to let doors slam in their faces because you're not holding no door for no chick who ain't me. Like, girl, relax. I know there are women out there who are secretly flattered by the fact that their man is normally mean to women, but he's nice to them. And they think it's cute that he's mean to every other woman he's nice to you. Eventually, you'll be every other woman. And he'll be mean to you, too. I mean, we say that we don't want toxic men. But when you get an unproblematic king, you're trying to make him feel bad for being an unproblematic king like he's trying to be helpful. What's the problem? Some men are not gentlemen at all. They're not doing anything kind for any woman that they're not trying to sleep with, any woman that they're not trying to get something from. And some men only rush to open a door for a woman if it's the bedroom door. So if you have a man that actually is kind enough and caring enough, thoughtful enough to do something for a woman he expects nothing from, I think that's impressive. In a world where a man spends 30 or 40 dollars It's also dumb. It is quite dumb to have your girlfriend wait for you while you're changing a tire of other women's cars. That's a stupid move either way. I was on a woman on a first date and thinks he's entitled to take that woman home and do Cirque du Soleil style activities with her. The fact that this man is changing a tire for some women that he's never seen before and may never see again, and all he'll probably get is a thank you, and that's enough for him. That deserves to be celebrated. The raggedy men with the podcast mics and the horrible takes are always all over our FYP. We need more men like this to uh, remind women that good men are still out there, they do exist, and some men do nice things for women and expect nothing in return. They're just nice guys. Not the nice guy that they always talk about, the nice guy that gets mad when he doesn't get the good girl or he doesn't get the woman that he wants. Not the fake nice guys, but the real nice guys that do things for people and expect oh. nothing in return. Jeez. And those are the guys that get fucked over every single time. So, um, <clears throat> you'll see that uh, you need us. Why? Because at times when things are not going all right for you yeah. guys, you can't change the tire. And guess who gonna stop by to say, oh, let me help? It's men. <laughs> it's true. I don't very... I seldomly see or hear of women actually offering other women help while they are stuck on the road or whatever it is. It's usually men that are helping out the opposite sex. Women never do it for their own sex nor on opposite sex. Oh, shocker, isn't it? You, you know, so it doesn't matter whether you're attractive, you're not attractive, you're older, you're married, you're unmarried. A man would stop. 
Whether he's with his girlfriend, he'll stop to yeah, see what he help another motorist here to change the tire. Seems like they can't change a tire. Despite them being um, independent and they don't need no man, I mean, I'll help change the tire. I mean, so, to flip that. That's, that's, that's my point. My point is you need us. Shout outs to Am Benzel. It's, it's a fact. Men need men, women need men. We need other men to do the things that we are not good at. Like I can't plumb like a plumber can. I'm not as good as a carpenter as a true carpenter. I can do some of these tasks, like the basics of them, but I don't have the, the knowledge and skill to be a professional and have these professionals do things for me. That's why they get paid the big bucks. Ladies, you need us. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that and I'll catch you guys next time.